and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be getting Grandmaster of the Land. And as always, hello from Ifri. So Grandmaster of the Land means that I'm going to be level 60 as a miner, a botanist and a fisher. And if you've been following my advice so far since the expansion came out, you can see that a lot of my experience came from doing the Grand Company dailies every single day, which involves getting just a high quality item which the Grand Company requests and turning in. And high quality means that you'll get double the reward. So you can see here today, to finish off Botanist and um, Fisher, I need to turn in 10 Dandelions and 1 Winged Gurnard. So let's do that now. So let's see. Provisioning mission, Dandelion, obviously it's the high quality ones that we want to turn in for double the rewards. So yes, complete, deliver. You'll not receive all the company seals, oh wow. So I've been really um, going over the top with how much seals I'm earning these days. So what, what you can do as well, if this is happening to you, just buy items like coke or whatever might be useful for your free company so that you can work towards an airship or sell it, make dark steel ingots because they're selling like hotcakes at the moment. You know, just things like that. You know, that's why items like coke and hardened sap and whatever are very useful. And that's why they're so high in demand these days. It's because of the airship system. Okay, so hopefully... I tell you, I'll, I'll buy five more. That should be enough, hopefully. Okay. So let's now... Again. Personnel officer. Provisioning mission. Dandelion, so again, check that you're handing over the high quality ones. Hand over. Yes. Double the reward. Deliver. There you go. So that's level 60 botanist. And now let's hand over this fish. High quality. And because it's in demand today, you can see I'm going to get nearly 2 million experience for this. Which is absolutely just crazy. It's absolutely nuts. So let's deliver. You'll not receive all the company seals. Wow, really? It's, you sort of see like how over the top amount of Grand Company seals you can get these days. So my old way of getting 100,000 seals an hour, whatever, is not even needed anymore because the sheer amount you get from just doing this daily is insane. So let's see. Okay, let's buy 30 of these. I'll throw these into the FC chest when I'm done. So... Attempt number three, provisioning mission. Winged Gunnard. So hand over. Yes. Deliver. There you go. So now level 60 in all Disciples of the Land, which is why I've earned the achievement Mastering the Land. So let's now equip the title. To show off that we've managed to do this and these are my first level 60s they just happen to be my gatherers so even though I really do focus more on crafting um, I did find that leveling up the gatherers during Heaven's Ward was a lot easier than usual but that's a good thing in my opinion because it means that there will be a lot more materials on the market board so the market will be flourishing a lot better you know you won't have you know 50,000 um, gill items which are easy to gather for a level 60 miner for example so anyway you go to profile title so let's look grand master of the land where are you right there one day i might have to go through uh, make a video about all of these titles you can see how many i've achieved since a realm reborn came out just insane amount but anyway yeah here we go grand master of the land mifri menafil so let's give out a cheer Cool, and then a happy, I guess. Yeah, so there you go, Grandmaster of the Land. And as well, I still need to do my dailies for crafting as well, which will get, let me see, I'll probably get Leather Worker, Weaver, um, Armorer, maybe even Carpenter as well. You know, so I might be a day or two away from getting all of my crafts to 58. 
So hopefully within a week I should be Grandmaster of the Hand as well, which will end the leveling journey, at least for Mifri in terms of crafting and gathering. I obviously as well need to uh, finish the main story and get my Paladin to 60 and then obviously all the rest of the classes. But what, one thing I've been doing every day to keep up uh, with my Paladin is I've been doing the Dungeon Roulettes. So I've been doing nothing else. I haven't done any side quests, I haven't done any leaves, uh, or barely even any fates, nothing. Just uh, the dungeon roulettes every single day, all four of them. So I do the high level, low level trials, the main scenario. And you can see I'm already at 58 as a paladin. So even when I hit level 60 as a paladin, then I'll probably just move on to warrior and do the roulettes on that every day. And that's a way to play the game, guys. If you're, if like me, you have a full time job, you're just busy throughout the day, then just do the minimum every day which is things like roulettes grand company turn-ins and so on and you'll level up everything really quick anyway i mean that's why they are daily bonuses is to encourage you to do it every day but not to have to spend a million hours a day doing it you know so um anyway guys i'm very happy we've got to this point um when i've unlocked all the zones and we can get more access towards the high level collectibles and I will start making other videos about collectibles. I will also start making videos as well about the blue scripts and where to get them from and so on so we can start getting blue scripts gear. But in the meantime that's basically it for gathering for now and I'm just going to concentrate on crafting. So anyway guys that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Grandmaster of the Land, Mifri.